Hey everyone, this is Wingspan TT, and if you're watching, you know what time it is. It's time for ACR, Assassin's Creed 2.5.5, also known as Revelations. All right, um, now we're jumping in here. Um, let's see. You know what? It's been a while. Let's play Wanted. We'll get in there. We have some high activity. Um, lots of people are playing. Uh, if you've been reading Top Tier Tactics, you know I wrote a whole article about how the greatest Christmas gift at all for any gamer isn't new video games. It's not like new fancy gaming chairs or headphones. It's the fact that on December 25th, tons of noobs get the game and they join in and they have no clue what they're doing. Now apparently people in this match appear to not be total noobs. Um, I have played a lot of matches recently where it's all level 1 through 8 people. You just walk right up to them and murder them. They have no clue what's going on. They don't know anything high profile, low profile, side profile, Facebook profile. All their profiles are all, are, are, yeah, are all over the place. Now I have a new kind of build here. I mean, not that it's new, new, but... Um, oh, I see the match is like 30 seconds of progress. Okay, fair enough. Um, starting in fourth place. Whatever. I've come back from worse uh, on this map, no, no less. Um, and again, when before you have a contract, I don't like to like just run around aimlessly before you have a contract, because you never know when someone's going to get you as their, uh, as their contract. Now, we got um, Dawson16 running up the stairs. Um, you know, I I was when I was a child, my parents were like, oh, don't run upstairs, you know, you know. Well, let's just take this kill. You're gonna taunt. Here's a taunt. It's a spear through your spine. You're poached like an egg, bro. Um, yeah. You know, I just love this taunt. I love that they added taunts this game. I think almost every game could be improved with taunts, like um, poker. You know, some people don't like to antagonize people. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Oh wait, he didn't walk in. Come on. I, you know, I hate to have to use the charge there in addition um, to the smoke bomb, but whatever, it's better than getting killed. Um, charge and smoke bomb, as everyone knows, are both very versatile skills. Um, charge can be used on offense or defense. It can be used to override other things. Um, it can be used to find your enemy in a crowd. It can be you find, used to find your pursuer in the crowd. It can be used to run out of places faster. There's really a lot of uses for charge. Um, so whatever. Great skill. We have Dawson16 again on the chopping block. Um, and call me the butcher. And it's time to make some meat. Um, for all the vegetarians out there, I guess you call me the harvester, and he's gonna get pulled into my harvest combine and shredded into a million pieces. Now we have, he's one of these guys here, I'm just gonna try to use the corner to figure out who he is, but the fact that he's not disappearing from my radar, yep, I'm gonna go with that's him. Um, ooh, oh, he's got the gun. Um, now I could just wait for the focus and, you know, if he used the gun, but if he canceled it, if he saw me coming up behind him, I don't like that risk. You know, some people are risk takers. I'm life. I'm a life taker. Okay, and I just took his life for 800 points. That's just how I roll. We got seven minutes on the clock. Um, again, low profile walking. I have two pursuers. Um, so you don't. You never want to go to high profile when you have pursuers, unless you know for a fact that they know where you are. Okay, if you know that they know where you are, you might as well just run for your life. Um, but I'm just gonna stand here. All right, we know. All right, this guy's one of them. There goes one of my double, and I'm just gonna follow her to give him another second where he's not sure. Oh, we got a pursuer lured over there. All right, he's on. Is he on to me? Well, he's on to his feet now. Oh, he's on. Yeah, just stare at your feet, bro, because that's where you're going. You go nowhere, just stare at the ground. We got Dark Onage EXC. Now, so when someone's named Dark Onage, I mean, they're pretty much the best player in the world, right? Like, that's is that's pretty much a guarantee. Now, notice I don't walk right up to him. A, I don't want him to know that I'm his killer. And B, I'm going to build up that detection meter. So now we come in for the incognito kill. 100, 350, 450 total. Now, because I have a pursuer, I hear the whispers. And I just killed that guy in, in broad daylight. I'm sure whoever my pursuer is knows exactly who I am. So I'm not going to risk. Oh, shit. He's got the gun. Fuck. Now, I will say this. All right. So... And this is something a lot of new players might not know. It was pulled in from Brotherhood. Is that when someone locks onto you with the gun, A, you can, if you see them ahead of time, you can see them do the animation. But that little beep beep, that beep beep sound, that means someone has locked onto you with the gun. Now, what are your options when that happens? Um, it depends where you are. If you're on a roof, your best option is, if you're near the edge, is to hit B and try to hang from the roof so that you'll fall out of their line of sight. I mean, if you don't know where they are, it's hard to know where the line of sight is, all right? If you're near a corner, you want to run to the corner as soon as possible to break the line of sight or get behind a tree or something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. But if you're in a blended crowd, like if I heard the beep beep, I'm in this blended crowd, 
I would just stand there because odds are they don't actually know it's you. Maybe they're locking onto you to try to get you to run to see like, oh, a human would run, but an NPC wouldn't from hearing the beep. Okay, so it, how you react to the gun differs a lot, but keep in mind that there's a new bonus. All right, in Assassin's Creed Revelations. In Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, there was a plus 100 point bonus if you shot someone out of midair. But people complain like, it's a hard bonus to get. Um, the gun should be a little more rewarding than that because otherwise you're only getting 100 points. Oh, this guy is definitely my pursuer. I'd like to taunt him. You know, whatever. You want to come at me, bro? Come at me, bro. I got Cleopatra hair. I got a stun to your face. I unlocked the little knee thing. I love it. Um, now I've got two more pursuers. Um, so there we go. Now I'm just kind of like, I just don't really feel safe for a second here. I want to appraise the situation, see if I hear anyone coming. This guy's definitely a pursuer. I don't want him to really, if he gets in the hay bale, I'm in trouble. So I'm just going to get him now. And that's the other thing. Like, once someone's in the hay bale, you can't really stun them, all right? The same thing is if they're on top of you, you can't stun them. So if you see a pursuer come up and you feel like they're going to move into a position where you can't stun them, you want to basically throw the smoke bomb ahead of time. Oh, I think that the guy in the red, whatever his name is, the guy in the red jacket is my pursuer. So because I know where my pursuer is, yep, that's him. I'm basically going to just go start a chase. All right, when you know who your pursuer is and you don't have any abilities unlocked yet, who can uh that can stop him now i saw he where he's going i turn around for a second i'm gonna go the other way wait for smoke bomb to recharge um oh shit the gun all right see you heard it oh he killed how did he kill a civilian how is he not locked on to me all right fine he's not locked on all right three um three pursuers three to one i like these odds guys 3900 points i've got control of the situation that guy's my you saw him I saw you, Vlad. I saw you, stupid little shit. I saw you come around the corner, so I'm going to do my famous little thing. I love here. You go up these things, and people can't resist taking the airlift. Oh, I bet. I guess he can resist it. Um, so he resisted it. So we're just going to basically charge him here. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Shit. Holy shitty shit. Oh, shit. Um, now, notice the one thing I, I did. Oh, thank you. Um, I, apparently we have a fan in the game. Um, and what, he's either my target or my pursuer, because in Wanted you can't talk to everyone on the mic. You can only talk to people uh, who are your pursuer or your target. Um, now remember, if you get chased, you get in a blended group, they, you pretty much are out in like five seconds. If you can get in a blended group, even if you're, there's no duplicate to you, you don't have blender or decoy or anything like that, if you just get into a blended group, oh, there we go, it's that guy again. Um, if you get into a blended group, you're pretty much out in like five seconds. We still got Vlad on the roof over there. I see you, boy, shaking that ass, shaking that ass as you come right at me. All right, he's hoping that I'll get close to the roof. What I love to do is just walk away from the roof. I'm going to taunt him because what is he going to do? Is he going to come jump at me? Oh, he's, he's going to use throwing knives. I'm going to use smoke bomb. Oh, throwing knives, though, are a serious thing you have to worry about. Now I have another pursuer. There's five seconds before charge re recharges. Charge recharges. Charge up your charge. Um, so I want to just get in a safe area. A minute 50 on the clock. I'm in a really good position. And this is kind of like... I feel... Him. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Okay. Bugs. I'll take the bugs. I got 10 seconds before smoke bomb. So I'm just going to run from this guy. Hopefully start a chase. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. He slowed me down. I'm going to get killed. I'm going to get killed because this guy bumped into me. All right. Pull him over here. Wait for the smoke bomb. I see exactly who he is. He's coming right at me. Oh, shit. He's got the gun. What? Uh, why did I even hit that? I don't know why I... Oh. Okay. I was... <laughs> I think my last game I was playing with mute. And I did successfully mute someone when they were aiming with, at me with the gun. But um, that's a tough thing to pull off. Now, this guy's up here. Just going to cut him off. He's dropped down. We got one minute left on the clock. I can't imagine really losing now. Let's just, maybe we can get some variety. Oh, you like the monkey swing kill, don't you? You thought all that time when you were playing on the playground when you were a kid, it was going to come to nothing. I'm going to wait up here. I know he's going to wait for the little speed swing. Oh my god, he's not waiting for the speed swing. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, oh, well then. That was incredibly convenient. And this is what I love about the game. It's like... When you make really rash decisions, all right, when, you, when you're patient in this game, a lot of times it pays off because your patience, even if you can't save your own ass, sometimes, you know, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Well, the killer of my killer is my savior, right? Is it something like that? Um, 
So my own personal savior is just whoever puts a sword through the neck of the guy after me. As far as I'm concerned, that's fine. We got charge left. There's 11 seconds on the clock. About to get smoke bomb left. Come at me, bros. Come at me. I know they're going to come at me. Everyone gets desperate now. Here's a desperate for my knee in your face. Boom. This guy thinks he's coming, but he's just going to disappear into a cloud of smoke. It's kind of poetic, really. Um... So, uh, yeah, that round went uh, pretty well. I hope everyone, if anyone out there has just gotten Assassin's Creed Revelations for Christmas or Hanukkah or National Scientist Atheist Day or whatever you celebrate, um, I hope you're enjoying the game. I hope these videos are teaching you something. Um, 6,300 points, 6 kills, 2 deaths. And, uh, yeah, really great match. It sound was someone on the, on the microphone? Hello? Hello? All right, whatever. We'll just let it go. Um, I hope you'll stop by TopTierTactics.com and a lot of people have been leaving comments on my channel like, Hey Wing, I love your videos. Can you make a video about ability sets? Can you make a video about the, the ways that you're... How do you know that I'm your killer? How do you know that I'm your pursuer? I never ask for the videos, but if you come to my blog, I really write regular articles, me and I do have a couple other writers, um, and people have asked me to basically make videos about stuff that I spent hours writing up like 10 page articles about. So if you'll come to TopTierTactics.com, check it out, you'll probably find a lot of content you were already looking for. You'll also get to check out my awesome blog. Um, and you'll get to check out, you know, I do have other people writing on the site that are quite funny and interesting in their own rights. So, um, Check it out. Check out TopTreeTactics.com. Please share this video with your friends if you like it. And I'll see you next time in Assassin's Creed 2.5.5.